common is it in the community that you live in, in the school that your child attends, in the job place, in the, jo- in the workplace where you work? Well, if you go back to 1991 to, to around 2002, the, the rate of depression in the United States went in 1991 from 3.3% all the way up to 7.06%. So it's almost a 4% jump from 91 to 2002. Currently in the United States of America, nine, almost 10% of the population is dealing with depression. This is significant. Uh, this, is not, this is not something you just dismiss. One out of 10 people you encounter tomorrow are gonna be dealing with some form of depression. If you want to move to Mississippi, you'll be in the state with the highest depression rate, 14.8%, followed very closely by Alabama. Now, anybody would know, as a football fan, why Alabama would have such a high depression rate. But but this is a serious issue, and it only seems to be on the rise. Now, this is staggering, those of you who have college students. We minister to college students as a church. This is staggering. 30% of college students verbalize a difficulty in functioning at at an acceptable level in the past year because of depression. Let me say that again. 30% of App State, 30% of Western Carolina University, 30% of University of Georgia, 30% of Brevard College, 30% of those students say in the past 12 months they've had difficulty functioning at 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 a normal level because of depression. There's a number of stressors, there's a number of triggers, there's a number of uh, reasons to be anxious. There's financial issues, there's academic issues, there's sexual issues, there's relational issues, there's spiritual issues, there's alienation from mom and dad issues, there's uh, pressure to, uh, to, to perform issues, and it's when you talk to your child on the telephone, almost a 33% chance in the next year that they're going to be dealing with some kind of issue like this. We've got to be sensitive to know what depression is, what to look for, and how we uh, encourage people that are dealing with it. Women, I hate to tell you, but you are one and a half to three times more likely to suffer from depression than a man. And scientists, psychologists, Doctors, medical doctors seem to think it has something to do with hormones, but nobody's really proven anything. But the fact of the matter is one and a half to three times more. I'm going to give you a possible reason for that in a little bit. 